डॉक्टर देवोत्तम बंदोपाध्याय आई एम कन्सालटेंट गैस्ट्रोन्टोलजी लजिस्ट एम आर आई ग्रुप अफ हस्पिटल्स ढाकुरिया एंड मुकुंदपुर एंड आई डिज हस्पिटल कलकता आई एम स्पीकिंग टूडे ऑन द बिहाफ अफ वर्ल्ड हेपाटाइटिस डे ऑन ट्वेंटी एट अफ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड एटीन हेपाटाइटिस इज अ वेरि कमन डिजिज दैट उ एनकाउंटार इन आवर डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस एज गैस्ट्रोन्टोलजिस्ट यूजुअलि हेपाटाइटिस इज डि टू एलकोहल or it uh, may be due to non alcoholic fatty liver disease this is very common and the third most common cause is due to viral hepatitis which may be of hepatitis a virus hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus and hepatitis e virus other hepatitis viruses are also there but in our day to day practice we usually don't encounter these viruses so the prevention is better than cure so there are some pre- preventive st- strategies to prevent this hepatitis uh, vaccines are available for hepatitis a virus and hepatitis b virus there is is no age limit for these vaccines where uh, it can be taken from birth up to uh, 90 years 100 years as the patient lives actually okay so now now where the day is everybody should be should be vaccinated against hepatitis a and hepatitis b b virus provided they are not infected with the same same virus now still there are no vaccines for hepatitis c virus and hepatitis e virus now this hepatitis b and hepatitis c viruses are usually transmitted via the parenteral route that is via blood transfusion in injections dental procedures etc so we must be very much careful while we do this blood trans- blood transfusion that it should be properly screened uh, when we give intramuscular or intravenous infu- uh, injections or infusions it should be properly uh, sterilized and disposable uh, once sh- should be should be used and before any dental procedures also we must be very strict that we uh, we have proper sterilization sets and usually hepatitis a and hepatitis e virus is a uh, food and water borne viruses it gets transmitted by taking contaminated water and contam- contaminated food so uh, to pre- prevent this we should uh, drink healthy healthy water from reliable sources and also avoid street street foods as much as possible but uh, these these are usually benign diseases hepatitis a and hepatitis e although some reports of chronicity of hepatitis e are there but usually they are benign diseases and usually they resolve in 4 to 6 weeks time now hepatitis b and hepatitis c viruses uh, most of them become become chronic so nowadays uh, if hepatitis b virus is there there are powerful drugs to control this hepatitis b b viruses but there are still no drugs for hepatitis b virus to eradicate them although some around uh, 1 to 3% or 4% uh, sero conversion can occur in hepatitis b virus and in interferon therapy after we have seen 15 to 20% sero conversion now coming to hepatitis c when uh, previously 5 6 years it was a myth that hepatitis c uh, cannot be cured the interferon was the rule of the day and nowadays we have powerful drugs for hepatitis c virus as well and with this powerful drugs we, we have almost conquered hepatitis c uh, virus nowadays it is around 99.9% curable so early detection and therapy is the key to success thank you very much